Welcome to Michigan's World War I Centennial News Report for May 2016, World War I Monuments and Memorials in Michigan. I'm your host, Dennis Skupinski. One century ago, May 1916, on May 1st, 1916, leaders of the rebellion in Ireland surrender to the British forces. Three are executed on the 3rd of May, 1916. On May 4th, 1916, Germany responds to a demand by U.S. President Woodrow Wilson by agreeing to limit its submarine warfare in order to avert a diplomatic break with the United States. On May 5, 1916, the U.S. Marines invaded the Dominican Republic to protect the U.S. litigation. Social unrest caused by rioting peasants forced the United States to send Marines in to protect U.S. interests. They stayed there until 1924. On May 6, 1916, Belgium troops entered Kigali and declared victory over the Germans. They captured German East Africa. May 8, 1916, a German munitions bunker at Fort Douaumont on the Verdun front explodes, killing 679 German soldiers. Also on May 8, 1916, four more Irishmen were executed by the British authorities following their surrender from the Easter Uprising. May 15, 1916, 2,000 Austrian artillery guns open a heavy barrage against the Italian lines, setting Trentino afire. The Austrian infantry attacked along a 50-kilometer front. The Italian wings stood their ground, but the center yelled. The Austrians broke through, reaching the beginning of the Venetian plain, with Vincenzo about 30 kilometers away. All the Italian forces on the Isonzo faced out flanking. May 16, 1916, a secret agreement was signed between France and Great Britain, along with Russia. It would divide up the Arab lands that were part of the Ottoman Empire into the French and the British sphere of influence. It was signed by French diplomat Francois Picot and British diplomat Sir Mark Sykes. May 17, 1916, the British introduced Daylight Savings Time. They launched it on May 21, 1916. May 18, 1960, Kiffin Rockwell and a Newport attacked a German aircraft, a two-seater observation plane, over the Alsace battlefield. Despite heavy motor problems, he downed the German plane. He was the first American pilot to shoot down an enemy plane during the World War. May 19, 1960, Escadrille Americaine, or Lafayette, was transferred to the Verdun Front. May 24, 1916, William Thaw scored his first victory using a new port. Thaw had been credited with purchasing the Lafayette Escadrille's famed Pet Lion Whiskey. Purchased by several pilots for 500 francs, the lion was adopted by the unit as sort of a mascot. Eventually, the, the lion was taken to the Paris Zoo, but it still remembered the pilot. On one visit, the lion rolled over on his back in their cage in order to allow Thaw to pet them. On the afternoon of May 31, 1916, the Battle of Jutland began. It was between the German High Seas Fleet and the British Grand Fleet. It was the largest naval engagement in the world up to that time. Over 250 ships and 100,000 men fought the Battle of Denmark's North Sea coast. It was the only major engagement during the First World War. Both sides claimed victory in this indecisive battle, though Britain retained control of the North Sea. Redbud Grove, Ann Arbor, Michigan, located at Broadway Park near Canal 
Street and Maiden Lane. The plaque reads, Dedicated in memory of Ann Arbor veterans of World War I, funded by the Elizabeth R. Dean Fund and other contributions. Memorial Grove of the Great War, located in East Lansing on the campus of Michigan State University, just east of Williams Hall. There are 33 oak trees overlooking Michigan Avenue. This was dedicated to the students of Michigan Agricultural College who perished during the war. Plaque reads, in memory of the men of the Michigan Agricultural College who gave their lives in the Great War, this grove is planted. June 11, 1919. The University Clock Tower, located in the center of the University of Detroit campus at 4001 West McNichol. It opened in 1952. The structure was built as a memorial to the U of D students who were lost during the First World War. Inscribed, it says, to the University of Detroit men who died in the World War, 1914-1918, to our honored dead, and then it listed the University of Detroit students who perished during the war. In Lyon Township, on the southwest corner of 11 Mile and Milford Road, is a monument to the war dog. The pet cemetery opened in 1932 and was known as the Happy Hunting Grounds Pet Cemetery. In 1946, with the news of how many lives were saved by dogs during World War II, local residents, veterinarians, and humane organization members raised money to install a large granite monument to show their respect for dogs that serve both wars. On the grounds of the state capitol on Capitol Avenue, the Michigan Veterans Memorial recognizes the sacrifices of men and women who served in World War I, II, the Korean War, and Vietnam conflicts. The memorial was dedicated at 11 a.m. on Thursday, November 11, 1982 by the Michigan Veteran Organizations and Auxiliaries. The center panel reads, the memorial presented to the state of Michigan by Michigan's veteran organizations and auxiliaries is one of the first multi-conflict memorials erected in the United States to mem memorialize the service and sacrifices of the state's servicemen and servicewomen when called upon to serve their country in the cause of freedom. More than 1,399,000 Michigan citizens served in World War I, II, Korea, and Vietnam conflicts. We pay homage to our prisoners of war and those missing in action, lest we forget. A City, Michigan, Pershing Park, 100 East Midland Street. World War I Doughboy, John Polding, sculptured his bronze figure of a World War I infantryman standing at parade rest, with his rifle propped against his right leg. It was dedicated in 1924 by the Women's Improvement Club to honor the Bay County boys who served in World War I. Berkeley, Michigan. At the Roseland Park Cemetery, 29001 Woodward Avenue, is the Spirit of the American Doughboy, a sculpture by E.M. V. Quesnay. This is a metal statue of a World War I infantryman making his way past the barbed wire and stumps of no man's land. Beneath is a granite base with a plaque bearing the emblem of the veterans of foreign wars. It was dedicated in May of 1941 as a tribute to the veterans of World War I. In Brighton, Michigan, at Fairview Cemetery is located a World War I monument. The marker reads, World War I Barracks 3534 Veterans Memorial, erected by American Legion and Auxiliary Battalion, Post 235-1988. In Coleman at Veterans Memorial Park, a, a life-size bronze statue depicting a Native American doughboy of World War I is now becoming part of the Veterans Memorial. The doughboy rendering is the sixth in a series of statues depicting Native American veterans from operations enduring freedom in Iraqi freedom, the Gulf War, Vietnam, Korea, World War II, and now World War I. Dearborn, Michigan. The monument is located at Veterans Park at the City of Dearborn's Municipal Complex at Michigan and Schaefer. The monument was erected in 1991 as a lasting tribute to the city's war dead. Ryan, Michigan, at General George Owen Squire Park. There is a monument and a plaque to General George Owen Squire, head of the U.S. Army Signal Corps during the First World War. In Fenton at 
West Shiawassee Avenue and Park Street is a plaque on a boulder, a memorial to the World War I soldiers. On the plaque it says, In memory of our heroes in the World War, 1914-1918, who fought for liberty and humanity, dedicated by settlers and Michigan pioneers, Fenton, Michigan, 1924. In Ferndale, there is a small memorial park in the median of Livernois near Nine Mile. The memorial is a plaque on a rock. The plaque reads, April 6, 1917, Honor Roll, November 11, 1918. A tribute to Ferndale's World War I veterans who offered all to their country that liberty and justice might not perish from this earth. These made the supreme sacrifice and it lists over 60 names. Grand Haven at Washington and Fifth, a bronze eagle with spread wings sits atop a 24-foot tall column of polished granite. Beneath is a three-section base of unpolished granite with a plaque bearing the names of 52 men from Ottawa County who fought in World War I. In Grand Rapids at Veterans Park are two World War I memorial pillars erected in 1926 by architect Ralph W. Demon. The names of those who died in World War I appear on eight bronze plaques placed on the sides of granite pillars. Flowers commemorating their sacrifice are placed at the base of both monuments. The plaque reads, erected by the citizens of Grand Rapids with funds voluntarily subscribed, therefore, and dedicated November 11, 1926, to the memory of the men and women of Grand Rapids who made a supreme sacrifice in the service of their country in the World War. In Hartford, Michigan, at Eli Park, is a World War I memorial plaque. It reads, To our fallen heroes in the World War, from the village and township of Hartford, Michigan. Livingston County, the Livingston County Courthouse on Grand River in Howell is a plaque. Inscribed on it is, A tribute to 656 heroic ones who served their country, 1914, World War, 1918. In memoriam, a list of 25 heroes. Then it says, in a righteous cause, they have won immortal glory and have nobly served their nation in serving mankind. It was erected in 1920. In Mount Clemens, Michigan, on 95 Market Street, is the St. Peter's Catholic Church. There is a monument with a plaque. The plaque says, this monument erected to perpetuate the memory of the boys of St. Peter's Parish, Mount Clemens, Michigan, who served their country in the World War, 1917-1918. Midland County, located in downtown Midland at the corner of East Main and Gordon Street, is a small plaque. It's dedicated to those from Midland County who served during the Great War. The plaque is on top of the World War II Memorial at the Midland County Courthouse. Marquette, Michigan, on top of Sugarloaf Mountain. A monument is dedicated to A. Bartlett King. 107th Engineers, 32nd Division, who died in France on October 7, 1918. He was a former leader of Boy Scout Troop No. 1 in Marquette, Michigan. The monument was built by Boy Scout Troop on top of Sugarloaf Mountain. It's a short half-mile hike up the mountain. In Plymouth, Michigan, located at the Veterans Memorial Park, downtown Plymouth off Main Street, is a tablet. The tablet reads, World War Veterans, this tablet erected by the Ex-Servicemen's Club of Plymouth in memory of their comrades whose names are hereon inscribed and who made the supreme sacrifice 1914 in the World War 1918. And then it lists the names of the soldiers who perished during the war. It was erected on May 30, 1940. In Potterville, in a small park between Nelson and Dunbar is located a World War I memorial. It's a plaque located on a boulder. On the plaque it says, In honor of the students of Potterville School who served in the World War 1914-1918. And there's a list of names of those who served. Quincy, Michigan, off West Chicago Street and Lake Boulevard, is located in a small park, a stone and brass memorial that commemorates the World War I soldiers. The plaque reads, in honor of the boys who wore a uniform in the Great War, erected July 4, 1919. Ridgeway, 
At the Ridgeway Cemetery on the Ford Highway is a World War I plaque that reads, Our Heroes, 1914-1918, World War I, and lists four names. One killed in action, the other died in service. In Romulus, Michigan, at the corners of Goddard and Shook Roads, is a World War I plaque. Inscribed on it is, In honor of our boys who served in the World War, 1914-1918, erected by the Sunshine Club, in 1920. Royal Oak, Michigan. The memorial is a plaque on a large boulder in a small memorial park between the library and the police station. The plaque reads, In memory of our deceased comrades who made a supreme sacrifice in the war, 1917 to 1918. We salute you. Dedicated by Acorn Post 1669, Veterans of Foreign Wars of America, their memory will live forever. Saginaw, Michigan, located at Veterans Memorial Park, is a World War I monument. A plaque on the monument reads, This monument erected and the road of memory established as loving memorials to the brave men of, from Saginaw County who gave their full measure of devotion in the World War that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. By Saginaw Chapter, Daughters of the American Revolution, Patriotic Citizens and Societies of Saginaw County, 1926. In Saline, Michigan, at the Oakwood Cemetery at the corners of Michigan Avenue and Monroe Street, is a World War I memorial statue of a soldier with his rifle. The inscription on the plaque says, Dedicated by this community to the honor of our soldiers and sailors. It was erected in 1922. In Sandusky, Michigan, in Sanilac County, at the corners of M46 and M19 at the courthouse lawn, is a monument with a plaque beneath it. The plaque reads, Erected 1921 to honor the men and women of Sanilac County who answered their country's call in the World War, 1914-1918. Next to the monument on the courthouse lawn is a captured German Maxim machine gun. St. Joseph, Michigan, on Lake Boulevard at a city park overlooking Lake Michigan. The Spirit of American Doughboy by E.M. V. Quesne. On the plaque, it says, Dedicated November 11, 1930, in the memory of all those who served in the Great War, 1917 to 1918, erected by St. Joseph Post, American Legion Auxiliary, and Patriotic Citizens. The inscription on the plaque at the base of the sculpture reads, Refurbished by Stevensville American Legion Auxiliary Unit 568, May 1998. In Tecumseh, at the Brookside Cemetery near North Union Street, there is a large boulder with a plaque on it. The plaque says, Erected in the honor of the men and women of Tecumseh who served in the Army and Navy of the United States during the World War, presented by Henry Bissell, a Civil War veteran, 4th Michigan Infantry, dedicated May 30, 1928. In Troy, Michigan, at the White Chapel Cemetery, is a polar bear monument sculptured by Leon Hermant. On May 30, 1930, 56 American North Russian Expeditionary Force soldiers were reburied here. The polar bear expedition, or the American North Russia Expeditionary Force, was a contingent of about 5,000 American troops, mostly from the Detroit area, that landed in Archangel, Russia as part of the Allied intervention in the Russian Civil War and fought the Red Army in the surrounding region during the period of September 1918 through July of 1919. Wyandotte, Michigan, near the intersection of Superior Boulevard and Biddle Avenue, the memorial inscribed reads, erected by the citizens of Wyandotte in memory of those who made a supreme sacrifice in the Great War, 1914 to 1918. The inscription includes 13 names of the men who died during the war. It was erected in 1935. In Ypsilanti, on the west side of the Cross Street Bridge, are two World War I memorial tablets. The west tablet reads, in honor of our brave men who served in the World War, and devoted men and women who in hospital 
and in hut heartened and sustained our fighting forces and the memory of those who served in the cause of humanity seal their devotion with their lives a roster of their names of these men and women is preserved in the archives of city hall erected by the ypsilanti patriotic service league 1919 the east plaque reads in honor of brave men of the 107th field signal battalion u s army which brigaded with the 32nd division Render distinguished service Chateau Terry, Soissons, Fimes, Juvigny, and the Argonne, and in memory of those who served in the cause of humanity gave the full measure of devotion. A roster of the names of these men is preserved in the archives of City Hall, erected by the Ypsilanti Patriotic Service League, 1919. Detroit, Michigan, the Michigan State Fairgrounds. On the main fairgrounds building, there used to be a plaque that read, Erected to the memory of the officers and men of the 16th Engineers and Base Hospital 36. Both were units, volunteer units from the city of Detroit that served during World War I. The whereabouts of this plaque is unknown at this time.